What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you can see, the R8 is not in the garage right now, but it will be because we have to put it back to stock. I got a buyer for the car. Deal is happening or has happened right now with Champion. Uh, shout out to them for selling my car in less than a month. That's insane That's for an expensive car. impressive for yeah, a car like this. So we've got to go get this, well, we got to go pick up the car first, bring it back here, then go to our parents' house, get the exhaust, stock exhaust, all the tools. And uh, we got a busy, we busy got a day. busy, busy day ahead of us to go. They don't want the exhaust. So uh, <laughs> we're going to do a couple last drives with it, with the Army Tricks exhaust because it sounds awesome. Hopefully <laughs> I'm not can... talking too fast. Yeah. I'm just... A lot of emotions. A lot of emotions right now. <laughs> and then we're going to drive the car with the stock exhaust system, which we haven't done in a year and a half, or yeah, a year yeah. at least. Yeah. But um, shout out, yeah, to Champion Car Company. We'll have all their information in the description below. If you are looking to consign your car, and a mini spoiler alert, he'll make a separate video on the pricing and stuff. This yeah. is, he sold it for more than $10,000 more than trade-in at the dealer for the Corvette. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's insane. <laughs> $10,000 difference. So if you have an expensive car or any type of more special car, consigning it with a dealership is a great way to go. Because you would have uh, yeah. lost out on 10 grand, that which was, is a big deal. That, that's a big deal when uh, that that's, chunk can go towards another vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> so I know my heart's racing. I've been on the phone for the last 45 minutes going back and forth between the dealer, uh, some other uh, companies that I'm, well, I don't know what to say on that. Just, I've been on the phone yeah. doing a lot to get the car ready to go. Um, I got to get new tires for it, which yep. is another thing that I have ordered. They're going to be here later today or tomorrow. Okay. So yeah, he'll go over more of the details of the sale in another video. Yeah, yeah. But busy day today. And um, yeah, this is the same buyer. They had a few offers on the R8. Uh, Matt from Champion was telling us. This was the only real serious one. They came in and test drove it last Thursday or something like that. A week and a half ago? They looked at it. Okay. Today so was the first day that they actually drove okay. it. Yeah, yeah, they came out, looked at it. I think Matt took them for a spin in it just around the block just to show them it works. Yeah. Came back today and we dropped it off yesterday. Today's the day after we sold the Z. <laughs> so yeah. in two days, he's down two cars. So yeah, sold two vehicles in two days. But uh, they got approved last time they were here just to make sure the deal could work because obviously we're not going to let them drive it if they can't afford it. We got approved, everything is squared away, uh, a little bit of negotiating, the front tires were pretty bad, that was, we, we knew, he knew that going in. Yeah. So we knew we are probably gonna have to buy tires. Um, they aren't exactly car people to where they, you know, are into it like us. They don't, approve. yeah, well, yeah. yeah. The Which exhaust is fine. was a... Uh, the exhaust didn't mean anything to them. Yeah. So, no big deal, it's a $7,500 exhaust, so for sale, any R8 owners out there. Yeah, I'm gonna be posting it shortly, but if, if anyone watching knows someone who's looking for an Army Tricks exhaust, yep. uh, go back through our videos. You can see what it sounds we'll like. I'll have a link down below. Full yep. titanium. It weighs 7 pounds versus 70 pounds or 12 yeah, pounds. 12 pounds, that. yeah. Stock went 70. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's get on with the day. We got a heck of a day. All right, guys. So just grab the car. We got Brian following me in the Tacoma there. And we are leaving the dealer so that we can get this exhaust done. This is going to be... I don't know, try to be like a record-breaking exhaust swap because it took us a couple of days to put this one on and take the stock exhaust off. All right, guys, this is going to be one of, the <laughs> Woo! one of the last videos with that Army Tricks exhaust. Oh, it is going to be so weird to drive this with the stock exhaust because it is just incredibly loud. And I haven't driven this in 10,000 miles with the with, with that. Yeah. I'm just stumbling all over. I haven't driven it in 10,000 miles without the stock exhaust. So, oh man, it, it's gonna sound so weird. Let's do it with the windows down. You'll hear just a little bit more here. So we just arrived to the parents' house. Time to head inside, see Maddie. I haven't seen her in a couple days as Brian is getting her there. And then uh, time to load up the Tacoma. The Tacoma to the rescue again. We got a 70 pound stock exhaust and a whole bunch of tools that we need to grab. Our dad has an incredible shop. I love that he lets us 
borrow these tools. <gasps> hey, what's up? We got a lot of work to do today, Maddie. Huh, yeah. Well, go, 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 go. So we got the truck all loaded up. Here is the 70 pound stock exhaust versus the 12 pounds that you will see later. Another floor jack. So we have two floor jacks. And it uh, doesn't look like a lot of tools, but we got the impact wrench, a drill, an angle grinder if we need it, a couple hammers and other sockets. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. It's very hot outside today. Uh, so we're gonna be doing this in the garage, hopefully get some AC going. It's like, Maddie, you're not going, no, no. Maddie, come here, girl. You're not going. Do you think she wants to help us take the exhaust off? It's 100 degrees out front. She's, oh, uh, Maddie. Maddie, come here, come here, you come here. Come, you come here. Hey, Maddie, it's time to say goodbye. We need to stop getting her just, uh, all riled up. Maddie. Maddie, come here. Say goodbye to the R8. You got to say goodbye to the R8. Maddie. This is the last time it's going to be at the house. All right, Maddie, we'll say goodbye to the inside. All right. All right, come on. Good girl. So if you want to start it up, yeah. keys are in it. We'll get one last rev. This is one last start up. Yeah, Maddie. Oh. Well, let's come back here, Maddie. It's going to be loud. Woo. That's it. That's scary, huh? <laughs> she, I don't know if she likes that. But that was it, Maddie. So that is one last, one last rev with the Army Tricks exhaust. We're gonna jump into the time lapse, putting this back to stock. For you guys, it's gonna be a couple minutes. For us, it's gonna be about an eight to nine hour job, maybe even longer. But uh, yeah, we will catch up with you guys when it's back to stock. It's a new day. We spent about eight hours yesterday getting the car to where it is right now. So we're gonna go ahead and do a cold startup just to make sure there's no leaks or anything, that everything is running and hooked up correctly. Uh, headphone users, you probably don't have to remove them because uh, this is very quiet. But whenever you're ready, Bri, we'll get up the uh, first cold startup of the stock exhaust. That's much different. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I do have the Army Tricks titanium exhaust for sale. So if any Audi R8 V8 owners are interested in it, I have all the wiring, two remotes for it, and it's a complete set or a complete kit. Can't wait to see what it's like to be stuck again. It's been 10,000 miles since it was like that. So you guys already heard a cold start. We're just gonna hop in the car. Brian's gonna drive and we'll take it for a quick spin. So this is going to be potentially the last drive. My last drive. Other than taking it to the dealer to officially sell the car, which should be happening, well actually in tomorrow's video, 
Yeah, we've been filming so, that video over the last two weeks, so. It's been a lot of work, a lot of behind the scenes that you guys haven't seen, but yeah, it's weird that this video is going up before the next video, which I've been filming for longer. Yeah, tomorrow's, tomorrow's video will pick up when we get home today. Yeah. So you guys will see that tomorrow. Yeah. Oh man. Dude, it's so quiet, like, Honestly, I'm gonna this stop here and give it a little bit of gas like we normally do. It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> can you even hear it? Honestly, I hope the owners in a week are like, hey, uh, I want that exhaust. Yeah. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. But yeah, this is your last drive in it, Brian? I was the first person to drive this car. You were. I took delivery for you, which was pretty awesome. It's a, it's a really well-balanced, amazing sports car. People do hate on it for not being the fastest, but fast isn't everything. You can't, you can't even use this power on the road, really. Yeah. But it just handles so well. It's so nimble. The gated manual, you do not find this elsewhere. I'm gonna miss that for sure. I mean, this it's... is only in Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and this. It's just yeah. not something you see. I'm gonna miss it. It's definitely, <laughs> definitely fun to get, rip through the gears. Well, the cool thing Especially is, with the exhaust. I think the C8 Corvette really is the new version of this car. Yeah. Because the R8 now is turning into a supercar. It's expensive. The R8 when this came out, I mean, 130 or 115 base price, something like that. Yeah, it was around there. That's still an still expensive six car, but it was way cheaper than a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, and it, it sold so well. They've made this car for so long, and they're still kind of ones making it. Yeah. But it was so successful because it was a supercar on a budget, and the new C8 is the same thing, but even cheaper, and 10 years later, which is even cheaper. So It's, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think, you, see. I think you're getting into the next version of what this car really stood for, which is awesome. New, new and improved, and I mean, it's going to be well-balanced just like this, which the balance of this car is what you you don't find in a lot of other cars. That's what I really like about it. Yeah, hopefully it performs the same being mid-engine. I think it's going to be But it's going to be a little handling. more tail happy. Because rear wheel versus drive, yeah. all wheel. I think it'll be faster, better handling, better comfort, better yeah. usability. I think it'll be better in every single way. While it's not going to be a manual, the dual clutch is going to be brilliant. So I know. It's going to be an awesome car. But, I just hate getting rid of I sold two manual cars this week. Yes. Was that yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. So I'm down to no manuals. Well, except for the bike. Sounds not even loud. I don't even know what it sounds like. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. I mean, it sounds, it, I mean, it, it kind of does sound good now it has that a we're good back sound, into it. It is not what it was. It doesn't scream. Uh, Those poor owners. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Uh, to each their own. It's an amazing yeah. sound system. So one of yeah. you guys put that in your car. Yeah. But, uh, my last drive in the R8. And I guess today we might drop it off at the dealer, and that is it. Possibly today, but you guys will see tomorrow's video, so no matter what, it's coming yeah. tomorrow. Uh, I don't think there's much else to say. No, I guess we'll pick up with you guys technically midway through tomorrow's video, yeah. logically. But we will see you in tomorrow's video, which is the saying goodbye. Yeah, the final, bringing it to the dealer. Final goodbye. Let's do one acceleration, let me pull around, do a U-turn. Okay. But as far as my review of this car, as a, not the owner, but as a person who did drive a little bit, uh, it's an awesome car that I will not forget, especially. I mean, it really did have a good spot in the garage, good spot in our hearts. Uh, but the time has come to say goodbye, which it's just a car at the end of the day. Ooh, I'm but, tired. Uh, Nine yeah. hours of the install. It did go a lot uh, smoother this time than the first install because we've done it a few times now. Yeah, we, we literally just finished. All right, let me, is that a big bump in the road? Yeah, a little bit. All right, we'll do second gear pull from 25 after the bump. You're good. Dude, it's so quiet. <laughs> I can whisper to you while yeah. flooring it. You don't have to put your earplugs in. I'm rev matching and flooring it. That's, a, that's hard to do. You can't do that with the army trace. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's my last acceleration. Yeah. All right, guys. That's going to conclude today's video. Uh, stay yeah. tuned for tomorrow's. Uh, not much else to say on this one. So if, Final video of the R8. Yep. It's been fun. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.